with the chief guest of Mr. Hassan Nasser Jami, Secretary Ministry of Water Sources, Government of Pakistan, for uh, his uh, keynote remark. Thank you. Thank you, Bismillah Rahman Rahim, uh, dear panelists, and uh, Dr. Rachel from Deputy DG IWMI, uh, development community professionals, excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. So it makes my uh, job easier because you know there's so much uh, wealth of knowledge in this uh, room. Also, so many speakers will come in the coming days. Also, so I'll just focus on. A uh, few things. Uh, first of all, I'll just uh, facilitate uh, EME and CGIR, Nexus Gains Initiative, PCR, WR, and everybody involved in organizing Pakistan Water Week and with very pertinent theme of water, food, energy, ecosystem nexus uh, for climate resilient, uh, especially when, you know, Pakistan has witnessed two very uh, divergent and very extreme events this year. And uh, starting from the extreme heat waves and then there's floods. So, so much will be talked about on these subjects. Uh, so, um, I'll not, you know, go into the details uh, of what happened and where are we. But it goes without saying that, you know, uh, Pakistan, the droughts and all this uh, climate-induced migration, water scarcity, foods, uh, floods, sea level rise, all have a devastating effect on the lives and economic development of the country, especially uh, in the poor, poorer areas of the country. And it's uh, now, it's become, water is again in the forefront as a very sensitive and complex subject. And it is very important that we find nature-based solutions. We need, you know, expert inputs. And as one of the panelists rightly said, it is time for action. No more sitting down, no more talking, just do what we can do. But we in the Ministry of uh, Water Resources, uh, uh, we encourage all kinds of, you know, inputs. We also need guidance from professionals and, uh, you know, because government uh, works in a very specific manner. But, you know, water is a much bigger issue, much complex issue, and with this nexus thing, so it's, uh, we have to look at all the different aspects. I'm happy that, you know, to be here and to listen to all these professionals and people who are actually working, making a difference, trying to make a difference. Today, these choices, you know, uh, related to management and use of water, food, energy ecosystems are typically, you know, taken in isolation. So, and without adequate consideration of the intersectoral implications and of planned development, which may be positive or negative. So, I worked in the climate change ministry also. I worked previously in the water power ministry also. So these things are, you know, we worked on the national water policy when it was being finalized in 2016-17, also on the flood protection plan 4 in 2015-16-17. Both these, you know, uh, documents were approved back in 2018. But now the challenge is, you know, how to implement these, where we stand, what actually happened in the last four or five years, why uh, we could not, you know, uh, implement these, uh, you know, very well-made documents. So uh, it's very important to collaborate, sit together, and you know, create something, uh, create a synergy between different competing you know, uh, sectors, and be it uh, the climate change ministry, food security ministry, water ministry, planning ministry, energy ministry, you name it. So everything is interlinked. And how to dovetail everything in our, into our you know, different systems and to make them more permanent and solution-based uh, approach. So I had a long speech made, but I've just, you know, deleted everything because I cannot teach the people who are here. I'm here to learn, and hopefully in the days to come, I'll be always available. My doors are always open, and I'd really love to uh, uh, listen to everyone. So. Who is, who is willing to come. And through this forum, I'll request all these esteemed professionals, our partners from the different development agencies, different, uh, you know, governments who are represented here, to deliberate on immediate practical solutions, what to do, how to go about this. We have got the documents, we have got, you know, so many papers written on water issues of Pakistan. And a uh, few days back, I was with the Minister of Water, and he showed me a book which was written in 1923 on the Sakhar Barrage. It's about a very eminent professional, and it said it's the 
lifeline, the life and death for Sindh, it said. So after 100 years, where are we? I think we are at the same stage. We are, I don't know how much we have progressed, but somebody, you know, we need uh, some professionals who are thinking about those things when they were developing this idea of Sakha Barrage. And he has written so much on the ecosystems about the ecology of that area. So it's a brilliant book. The minister uh, informed me that he found this one copy. It's an original copy. It's uh, signed by the author also. I've forgotten the name of the author. And he is having reprints made of that book so that, you know, he said he's just lying there for the last 100 years at the Sakar Barrage. Nobody has gone through it. So he will be distributing it, hopefully, to everyone. So, uh, so I'm just, you know, I'm quite confident that, you know, when we sit together and there's so many professionals, so many different agencies, so many minds uh, who have worked all over the world in this field. So um, when they're in, under one roof, so when they deliberate on things, so something good always comes out of it. So I'll be, I'm quite hopeful that Pakistan Water Week would be an effective pl platform to initiate con con conversation that tac tackle various dimensions, be it uh, technical, political, legal, environmental, institutional. So there's so many dimensions. And everything is, you know, because of these floods, suddenly, you know, people are, uh, again, all the different agencies of the government also are waking up. So last uh, big flood was in 2010, and which was super flood. After that, you know, the flood protection plan was made and so much. And I'm happy I had a meeting on Friday with the Asian Bank people and they are updating it now. And hopefully in the next four or five months they will have an updated document. And so there's so many things <laughs> to do, so, so many. So we just need a proper, a very simple sort of, some sort of an agenda which we can follow, immediate things which we need to do. There are many institutional uh, matters which are there for the last several decades and uh, they will remain there, but slowly and gradually, but we have to move in the right direction. And we need to collate everything which is available and so much knowledge and so much uh, research has uh, recently been undertaken in these areas and I hope, um, institutions like EMI and PCSIR and other, uh, you know, different agencies, they'll be able to uh, collate everything and give us a very clear cut uh, path to where we need to go, where we should be in the next four or five years. So when I joined the ministry uh, about 10 days ago, some, my, one of my friends sent me a quote from President John F. Kennedy. I hope it's true, it's not just from the social media. And he said that anyone who can solve the problem of water will be worthy of two Nobel Prizes, one for peace and one for science. So I hope we find somebody who gets a Nobel Prize in water soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh